Hey guys, it's me, the Don Fanatic, and welcome to week 8 of the Pokemon Premier League. Now, this week we're up against Trev, uh, Trev the King, Trev CL, um, a great, great, great uh, draft format player. So, undoubtedly, is going to be a very tough game. Now, as you'll know, our record is just taking a turn for the worse. We are. 2 and 5, so we won week 1, won week 2, and we've lost 5 on the bounce. So, this game, I mean, looking at the draft-wise, this is like probably the worst team I've had to come up against in the sense that the scariest is definitely not the worst on paper. It's the worst as in I dreaded playing this game so much. Um, but we have got the chance to, to take the win here, and I'll go over the, the uh, strategy in a moment. Uh, just quickly wanted to go over Trev's draft, because I'm on Showdown. It feels like I'm able to take this a lot slower than normal. So uh, if you let this, you know, if you like this format where I'm able to actually talk about things more, rather than just, you know, try and rush it a bit through the game, then let me know. But as you know, I'll recap my draft first of all. We have got the Jirachi, Clefable, Salamence, which is a Z user, Arcanine, Delmise, Gastrodon, Mega Aerodactyl, Lucario, and Raichu, which is also a Z user. So, as you can see, the team we have bought, we've got the Raichu, the Mega Aerodactyl, the Gastrodon, the Jirachi, the Lucario, and the Delmise. So we'll go over each set, kind of, basically. Um, we have got four attacks, Walterium Z, Pika, uh, not Pikachu, Raichu, with Thunderbolt, Volt Switch, Surf, Focus Blast. Looking at his team, you can see I hit literally everything super effective except that Cresselia um, for a decent amount. I should actually probably tell you Trev's team first because that'll make help the sets make you know seem a bit more well reasonable. Uh, Trev's team is Celesteel, which is a Z-move user. Nudaqueen, Cel uh, Cresselia, Rotom Wash, Whimsicott, Terrakion, Umbreon, Mega Charizard X, and Pyloswine. So we're going back to Raichu real quick. Thunderbolt Volt Switch does deal with any uh, non-Mega Charizard and the Celesteel pretty much. Um, it does okay against the Rotom Wash. Focus Blast does a number to the Terrakion. It might even one shot, I can't remember. Z Surf definitely does if he's not bulky in any way. Um, Surf and Focus Blast again hit the Piloswine. Focus Blast hits the Umbreon. And uh, Z Surf, uh, if he's not like a bulky Zard, I'm expecting him to be bulky ish with some speed. Um, can, uh, does over 50% um, to like uh, un un uninvested, I think. So, you know, if he comes in on rocks, it's a guaranteed kill, which is nice. Um, so, Raichu can, you know, play important uh, an important role here, kind of getting lots of chip damage to his things. Um, he has got Pilot Swine, which I half expected, half didn't, um, to come along and is a ground immunity. So, he has got switches for that. But we'll see how he plays it. Because, again, if I get one prediction right, that Pilot Swine could potentially just die. Um, next up, we've got the Mega Aerodactyl. Stone Edge, Fire Fang, Aqua Tail, and Stealth Rocks. Um, Stealth Rocks are going to be huge, so it's going to be my lead this game. Um, looking at his team, he hasn't got any form of removal, unless he has Defog on Charizard X, which I believe it gets Defog. Um, so Stealth Rocks are incredible. If he leads Charizard um, against my Mega Arrow, he's not going to want to stay in, because Stone Edge will just one-shot that thing. So... Um, you know, I feel like getting rocks up turn one is going to be really important. Um, unless he leads Terrakion, then I will just probably take the chance to kill that thing, or at least weaken it, because uh, Terrakion, if it gets up a rock polish and sword stance, just 6 0s my team completely with close combat and uh, Quake. Um, so that's spooky. But um, the Fire Fang actually does, it has a chance to two shot Celestia uh, if it's not Fizz Death, um, but it can't switch into rocks and two Fire Fangs, or rocks a crit. Stone Edge and then a Fire Fang um, if he's not max defense. So, um, you know, Stone Edge looking at his team hits reasonably well, hits the Charizard super effective. Tracheon won't be doing much to the Pilot Swine if it's not bulky. Um, I take a decent amount. Cresselia obviously will switch into it. Cresselia will switch into anything I have on this arrow, even Crunch, so it's not really worthwhile me running Crunch. Aqua Tail, though, as you can see, hits the Terrakion, hits the Pilot Swine super effective, and hits the non mega uh, Charizard. He just hasn't got anything that, you know, it's neutral to everything, so it's kind of like a nice middle ground play. Um, next up, we've got Fizz Death Gastrodon. This is my best answer to Charizard X. Um, his Charizard set was really interesting in the end, um, but, you know, in prep, I kind of expected him to bring, like, Dragon Dance, Roost, um, Dragon Claw, and Flare Blitz, it's very good against my team, um, as you can see, uh, Flare Blitz is super effective against three of my mons, and then Dragon Claw will hit the rest, um, 
I mean, Flavorts would destroy Raichu anyway. Um, so Charizard is very spooky this game. That Alterachium, if one of them two gets set up, uh, it could be a good game. But we are running the Recover, Scald, Earth Power, and the Yawn. Now, Yawn is actually really crucial in this game um, as it plays out. I kind of thought Yawn as kind of like a pseudo way of dealing with setup um, because he can't, if he keeps a Mon in that is setting up, um, then it goes to sleep. And it gives me a chance to set up with uh, my Lucario, which I'll go over later on. Um, um, or it forces a switch and they lose all stat boosts. And I can get like a school burn or an earth power off. Because, you know, he hasn't actually got like a decent earth power switch other than the Umbreon. Um, and, well, actually, I, I say that. He's got two immunities. But um, if I go for school and get a burn on either the Celesteela or the Cresselia, that would be really useful. Because I don't think I'm running Toxic on anything this week. Um, which is a gamble for sure because he's got Cresselia and I haven't really got many good ways of beating that. Um, so yeah, this thing's going to kind of be there for the Charizard X. Um, kind of there for the Terrakion. If he doesn't get set up, then it can take on that Terrakion. Um, but I don't really want to take him as much damage as possible, you know, unless unless Charizard is in, it is my switch in. Because um, Earth Power does at least 75% to that thing uh, if it's max HP. And a Vacuum Wave from Lucario should be able to save the day uh, from from uh, that point and obviously if he does want to you know try and kill my Jirachi um, or my Delmise with Flare Blitz without roosting then he'll probably kill himself so that's fine. Um, talking about Jirachi we are uh, he is the fourth member we are Choice Scarf um, so we'll outspeed everything on his team bar Terrakion um, if they haven't got any speed set up uh, and that's if Terrakion Scarfed if it's not then it will outspeed the whole team um, it was really hard to pick the moves I've got U-turn obviously to try and get a Volt Turn core going because uh, Volt Turn will really help momentum I don't want him to have Charizard or Terrakion in getting set up chances for free uh, on like the Delmise for example for Charizard and um, say for example uh, well Terrakion can't really switch into any of my mons um, actually I think my whole team hits it super effective which is quite funny um, but I don't want it like set up on I don't know Gastrodon I guess is the best bet um, he has so you know I, I want to switch in and out try and keep momentum going um, and it also helped me get my Lucario in on that Umbreon and Jirachi's really good bait for getting that Umbreon in in case I you know it'll take Iron Heads pretty well and it doesn't take anything from Zen Headbutt so I am I think Iron Head U-Turn Thunder Punch Zen Headbutt I want to say um, I can't remember why I'd have Zen Headbutt but I can't remember what else my fourth move was because I don't actually ever have to use it um, but yeah I did demand, like debate trick uh, quite heavily in team prep and I also nearly made this my stealth rocker as well. Um, but you know, I didn't really need anything on Arrow. Arrow is just kind of nice for this team. If he doesn't have a Scarfer, kind of destroys everything uh, once it's weakened, apart from that Cresselia and that Umbreon. But if I can get chip damage off on, you know, Arrow can, can help later on. But Jirachi is just kind of there as a contingency plan. If he doesn't have a Scarfer, I'll speed his team. If Charizard gets a plus one, I can run the risk of a speed type. He's max speed Zard. Um, and I can just flinch him, or, you know, attempt to flinch him to death. Um, so that's literally the only reason Jirachi's there. Next up is the, the Mon, which is like the most crucial to this game, and that is Lucario. Um, we are Nasty Plot, Vacuum Wave, Flash Cannon, and Focus Blast. Now, I toyed with Physical um, Lucario, but Physical Lucario lost one-on-one -on -one to the Umbreon. Now, Justified and the Sword Stance would be great. If I get to plus three, I might kill his team anyway, but... If I Swords Dance, uh, I'd then take like 70% from Foul Play and I only get free hits with Life Orb. And I need Life Orb to be able to take on the Cresselia and the Celesteela. Um, so I figured the best way to do it would definitely be special. And uh, I, uh, from the game, I don't think Trev really expected it. Um, but Vacuum Wave and uh, it destroys lots of things at plus two. Um, if I get to plus four, it just literally sweeps his team. Um, the only thing on his draft, which I did mention that stops it, is the Whimsicott with Encore. Uh, well, Whimsicott full stop because it resists both, but I felt like um, with Aerodactyl and Jirachi around, um, it might be enough to deter it. And it, he's got things which are way scarier than a Whimsicott in this matchup, in my opinion. Um, so I wasn't too sure if it was going to bring it. Originally, I think I had Crunch, Bullet Punch, and Drain Punch. Um, on my set, uh, but I changed it to the special one because I figured, you know what, actually it would really help the rest of his team. Pilus Wine won't take hits as easy. Cresselia, it's rather disgusting that a plus two um, 
flash cannon can do like 80% to a defensive Cresselia, which is absolutely gross if I get any chip or stealth rock on that. I've got a good chance. Um, if the Cresselia hasn't got anything like Thunder Wave, I can set up on that Cress and I can set up on the Umbreon. So I'm really happy he bought both because it gives me a setup opportunity. And I could potentially, if I really felt ballsy, um, like fake a scarf against the Terrakion or something um, uh, and set up that way but I have got two targets which I can set up on hopefully the Umbreon because uh, I don't think he'll have anything for my Lucario other than foul play on that and then uh, finally we have got the um, Delmize it's literally there as a kind of an answer to the Terrakion Earthquake and Close Combat don't do it, hardly anything or anything to me Stone Edge is the only real thing that does kind of ruin me um, with that but Rapid Spin as well to get clear of the rocks if he does get them up. Um, because as long as I can keep Aero healthy, and uh, I mean, I don't really want Raichu and Jirachi taking rocks. Granted, Jirachi won't take much, but it's the extra chip, and that could, you know, change the course of the game. I want to keep Lucario as healthy as possible. Again, won't take much from rocks, but it could be the difference from one extra attack with Life Orb, for example. Um, so that's there. I think it's Synthesis, Power Whip, and Shadow Claw. Shadow Claw does a lot to defensive. Cresselia, I am sassy I believe with a bit of spadef and uh, max HP and then max attack, um, just to try and get some hits, because he hasn't really got like a good switch in to Shadow Claw and Power Whip Power Whip just destroys Terrakion and Piloswine, um, and Umbreon doesn't appreciate Power Whip either um, Shadow Claw does a decent amount like I said, to that Cresselia um, and if he didn't have Umbreon, I would have probably strongly better bring a Choice Band Delm Eyes and just clicking Shadow Claw on things because it would do a solid amount to his team. But that is the six I have. Um, you can see the six on Tread side, so I know I've waffled on about the team for about 11 minutes, but we'll just get into this game. I've put it on slow, um, so I'll try and talk about my plays uh, as I go along just to, you know, kind of make it a bit more informative, a bit better than normal. But yeah, let's get into it because I have, like I said, gone on long enough. So. Turn 1, I am going to lead with my Mega Aero and Trev is going to lead with his Terrakion now. This thing could be Scarfed, I take a massive risk turn 1. Um, we're going to see this turn out, I do go for the Aquatel, I don't quite get the kill, it turns out he had a bit of HP and a bit of defense uh, investment. Um, as you can see I do get a big hit and I do land it, thank god. Um, if this thing is now Life Orb, he dies um, from attacking. Um, and he's got his rocks up, that's fine, I've still got Delmise in the back, I could easily go into Delmise here if I wanted to, to try and rapid spin, um, but if he does kill himself with the life orb, it does then give him a free switch into the Charizard, which I don't want, so um, I am going to go for my rocks on this next turn, I ever expect him to take me out and die to life orb, if he's Scarfed, he'll have to switch, because he's gone through his rocks, however he's not Scarfed, because obviously I outsped, unless he's some really slow Terrakion, because he didn't EV it correctly, I don't know, um, but I'm either expecting him to switch out here, or try and take me out, hoping, you know, a miss would be nice, but, you know, I want to get my rocks up, as you, like I said, his only removal would be Charizard, and even then, the 50% on Charizard will make it so much easier to deal with, um, so I'm going to go for my Stealth Rocks here, and he does stay in, and he does go for the Stone Edge, and he does connect, which is unfortunate, but, like I said, hopefully it's Life Orb, it does kill itself, so it's a double down, turn two, and I think it's a trade uh, that really does benefit me more than it benefits Trev, because that, I mean, I guess it depends on the set, what moves he had, if he did have Earthquake, Close Combat, and Stone Edge. Once the Raichu's gone, like, it, it outspeeds everything, other than Jirachi with Choice Scarf, so, you know, it deals the Lucario, which I haven't revealed, has obviously the Vacuum Wave yet, but as, if I don't have a nice plot up, Vacuum Wave doesn't kill Terrakion, um, it would do decent damage to the other two, so... While um, Aerodactyl's nice for the Charizard, it doesn't really do, I mean it does do damage to the rest of the team, but not as much um, as, as that Terrakion could have done to me. So it's a trade I think uh, that is fair, and we've got rocks up for rocks. I have removal, he doesn't unless it's Charizard. So let's uh, rock on with the turns. I'm going to go to my Raichu now, um, as he brings in his Cresselia. Now, the way he brings this in makes me think he's probably got Calm Mind. Um, it's slightly surprising because I do have a Clefable, but then it's also not surprising because he does have a Cellar Stealer and that can easily deal with any Clefable I have. It does reveal his Calm Mind here, which is um, really scary. And this is where I'm going to let it run here because uh, he's got Shadow Ball and it's super effective against my Delmise. So you can just get the Spadef drop. It doesn't matter because, um, as you can see, he would have taken me out of another one anyway. But that Shadow Claw does a lot of damage. Now, I don't mind if Delmise goes down here. What the Spadef drop does mean is he can go for the Psychic and take me out. I'm not sure it would have killed if he did, hadn't have got it. He would have had to have gone for another Shadow Ball. Um, but Jirachi does come in now, and I'm just literally at this point thinking, crap, I'm going to have to go for flinches. 
to actually try and win this game. Now I don't get the flinch. He does. Act, it's actually hacks not to get the flinch. Um, he does moonlight up through that, and I'm thinking, crap, um, I might lose here. So I'm going to go into my Gastrodon now. Gastrodon is made for Charizard, but it takes that Shadow Ball so well. Trev gets another Spadef drop, which is really annoying. Um, but I think Trev's now going to take this as his chance to set up. No, he's not. He's going to go for Psychic. Um, I tell a lie, but I do go for the Yawn here. Now he's either going to have to switch, or he's going to have to stay in um, and kill off my uh, Gastrodon. It here um, I do stay in and click recover because I felt that was my play at this point I needed to try and keep this thing alive and Trev decides to keep his Cresselia alive and get rid of all of his um, stat boosts now I know he's brought in the uh, he's brought in the Celesteela at this point but I just want to quickly say the fact that he switched out that Cresselia probably changed the course of the game if he left that thing in he'd have probably just swept in 5-0 just as simple as that um, because Psychic and Shadow Ball ruined my team um, he would obviously have been set up for Lucario, and I wouldn't have been able to set up on Lucario enough to beat his Calm Mind. Um, so, unless I got a crit with uh, Flash Cannon at plus two. Um, so, uh, that was huge that he did decide to switch there. Um, I just wanted to emphasize that at this point. So, I do have to rush in against Celesteela. I have Thunder Punch on this thing. That might be the move I forgot. Um, but I have to click at this turn because I can't let Celesteela sit behind a substitute. Um, so, I click Thunder Punch. He's going to click Leech Seed, so he's Sub Seed, which isn't the set I expected. It's a good set on like any, you know, team, but I really expected him to have like Giga Drain, Autotomize, um, Air Slash, Heavy Slam, or something along that line, because it kind of ruined my team. Um, he doesn't want to stay in and take the Electric move, which is nice because he wouldn't have died there. But I do click the Thunderbolt. Um, the Stealth Rocks and the Thunderbolt and the Volt Switch bring this Umbreon down to 48%. Um, now, this is really nice. Um, we haven't seen Lightning, so I'm expecting he's probably Chopper Berry. Um, he can wish here all he likes. Uh, I'm kind of forcing him to... I've, if he wants to protect its free setup, I'm kind of forcing him to attack me here. And I am justified to kind of give him a false indication that I will be getting the attack boosts. Um, however, I consider that in prep and the calcs. I think this thing just one shots me at like plus one, and it's ridiculous or plus two with foul play, and I can't have that. Lucario is way too important in this game. Um, as we've seen, the Cresselia has taken a bit of damage, and like if I'm at plus two now with stealth rock damage, that Cresselia, even if it's max spadef, will die to a plus two flash cannon. Um, Mamoswine, Swine, not Mamoswine, Swine, Pilo Swine, if it's not bulky, will die to a vacuum wave. Um, Charizard after rocks might die to a vacuum wave. I can't remember what the calc was. Um, Celesteela will die to a uh, Focus Blast, and obviously Umbreon will die to a Focus Blast as well. So, Lucario is inside. This is the opportunity I have to set up. This is the only opportunity I have to set up after seeing Calm Mind um, on that Cresselia. So, he does go for Foul Plate. That's fine. I take that. I get to plus one. Now, it might give him a false indication because he does stay in again. I go for the Nasty Plot, get to plus two special attack. He foul plays me again. It does do more, obviously, because of that uh, original attack boost. I go for the Focus Blast and I hit. That's crucial that I actually hit this because if he'd have hit me with another uh, foul play, that would have been GG. He'd have won. Um, and I'm ever so happy that it was that Focus Blast I missed because, as you'll see, he brings in this other Steeler and he's now going to try and whittle me down. I do go for the Focus Blast. And I miss the Pilot Swine, which is annoying. Um, and I'm kind of forced to click Vacuum Wave here because I can't have him click Ice Shard. And it does kill. That was a roll, I believe, um, if he was bulky. But it turns out I think he wasn't as bulky um, as I expected. So I, I, it was probably still a roll, but probably more in my favour. So that's the Pilot Swine gone, that's the Umbreon gone. Whatever comes in next dies, other than the Charizard. Um, so in comes the Celesteela again. He's baiting me into clicking the uh, Focus Blast um, to lose life orb, but I don't care because, as you're about to see, Focus Blast is 48% to a Cresselia at plus two. That's gross. And I still have two life orb hits left because um, I am at 11%. So I'm going to go for the Flash Cannon. I'm going to take that thing out, and I'm living on one. So at this point... Um, Lucario is just doing massive damage. Uh, I do need to click Vacuum Wave here. If I'd have gone for Focus Blast, I'd have died anyway. Vacuum Wave allows Raichu to come in um, and just like win the game for me. So in comes Raichu. And watching this back actually makes me realize that I've recorded my kills wrong. Raichu got two kills this game. 
uh, not uh, and and Lucario only got three, not four. Um, but uh, the Raichu comes in, clicks Thunderbolt. Now this is uh, I, I didn't do the calc here because this is literally the only way I can win here. Although I have got Gastron in the back. Um, I am Walterian Z, and I bought that Walterian Z for the Nidoqueen, Queen, which didn't come. Um, now, like I said, I think if it's max HP, this will be a roll. I think about a 50 50 roll. If he's not max HP and he's not like that greatly invested in HP, then this um, Hydro Vortex will just kill this Charizard flat out, even with his Dragon Titan. So, in terms of Charizard, I'm guaranteed to outspeed because it's only base 100 in its Mega Form. Um, I am going to click that Hydro Vortex, and we are going to take down this Charizard X. So, um, quite a short game. I'm really surprised I managed to win that game um, because that Cresselia was inside and pretty much just won. Trev wasn't to know that, um, but that Yawn came in clutch. It, you know, he took his time on these plays around that time of the battle. He took his time and I kind of forced him into the corner and luckily for me I just had the right Lucario set which did work against his team. But like I said, if he'd have bought that Whimsicott, which I didn't expect because it doesn't necessarily do too much to my team and he has got ways of dealing with Gastrodon otherwise then, um, you know, that might have been a bit more, it would have been way harder for me to set up with Lucario, that's for sure. Um, but it worked. Now, uh, you know, uh, people might say it was bad prep, you know, in case of the Winter Cop, but like I said, I've got the Aerodactyl, which kills the Fire Fang, I've got Iron Head on my Jirachi, and I've just got, you know, well, Delmice can take it on, Shadow Claw will do an absolute butt-ton. Um, I just had ways of dealing with it. And so uh, the Lucario set came through. Lucario has done this multiple times for me now this season. Even if I haven't won, it's just kind of been there and done out to the team. And then, you know, someone else has cleaned up at the end. So um, it's nice to actually get a win again. There's five losses on the trot. Um, so hopefully we get some wins. Next week we are up against the Melbourne Victory Star, which is um, Electric Storm 252 Jack's team. Um, him and Kyle have both only lost one game this season and are in contention for the... Uh, title. That's uh, the time of saying this. I think they actually play each other next. No, this week. I just don't think they've played yet. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens in that game. But hopefully, you know, I, I still need to beat Jack for my own safety because there's quite a few teams near the bottom. I am near the bottom. Um, Col Colton is, you know, dead last, sadly. Um, and then there's me and a few others on about 9 and 12 points. So I do need to get a couple of wins. Um, Jack's going to be hard because he is top. I'm doing top with Kyle. Um, and then the two guys I've got, week 10 and 11, are guys who are down here. So it's kind of in my hands to get out of this mess that I'm in. And, you know, I've got the team to do it. I'm thinking about transfers. I haven't thought about many, you know, too in depth. But we'll see what I can get. Anyway, um, I've talked for a long old time. So thank you for watching this video. Make sure you do check out the links below. I'll put Trev's uh, YouTube and Twitter in there. Along with all the other coaches. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you later. Bye.